sports fans nationwide, you have entered the sports opinion log here on Lex Anderson World. And in this video, like I say in all my videos, the corporate shells, they've sold their soul to the almighty dollar. In case you have or have not heard, former Nike vice president and general manager of Nike North America, Ann Hebert, resigned immediately 25 years in the company eight months after being promoted to their swoosh consumer direct offense strategy resigned abruptly just this monday due to an article in bloomberg about her son 19 year old joe hebert who is a reseller a reseller of the goods for the company that his mom works for. And in his chasing clout, the reporter who he talked to, he called him from his mom's cell phone. It was under her name. And in bragging about how much money he makes, showed him a receipt, a receipt that was under his mother's name for his company, West Coast Streetwear. Of course, the Amex corporate credit card was a bill I'm hearing in the figures of 130,000 to 200,000. Nike wants to say, well, she revealed to us in 2018 her son's business and there's no conflict of interest. There was no violation of company policy, privileged information or conflicts of interest, nor is there any commercial affiliation between WSC LLC West Coast Streetwear and Nike, including the direct buying or selling of Nike products, according to their piece. So now, if this is the truth, then why would she abruptly resign? Eight months directed to the Swoosh Consumer Direct Offense Strategy, a strategy which means that you can't get the sneakers that you need from Nike, Champ, Foot Lockers. Nike wants to drive you to their site where her son with his 15 employees and their bots controlled and dominated the industry. It saddens me, honestly, because I'm out there on Twitter, I'm out there on social media, and people are always talking about the L's that they take on the sneaker app. Because as you can see by the pictures that I've posted here, this cat was raking in hundreds and thousands of sneakers. Look at this shit. So of course there is a conflict of interest and white people who they put on this high moral ground as doing no wrong. But what about us? What about the people in the inner city, the single moms here in New York, Hispanic, Latino, Caribbean, African American, the single moms buying sneakers for their kids that get outpriced because they can't afford the resale price. That's why I'm making this video. Because what came from the hood, once again, thanks to white people, is placed out of our reach. It is unseemly, unsightly, and disgusting, all for the sake of the almighty dollar, the motherfucking profit. And of course the mom knew, cause she was, I'm sure she was getting a cut. The credit card's in her name. White privilege indeed, but Nike has the ability to withstand any kind of firestorm that comes its way because Nike, like Amazon, rules the world. Hence, this shirt, this Yankee shirt with the Nike swoosh on the neck. But look at here, King James, Nike, Kobe Bryant, Nike, Big Ben, Nike. You can't escape it. Nothing will ever knock Nike off their pedestal. You would think that having sneakers made in foreign countries for what? A quarter, 50 cents that you're already selling for 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, resellers, 3, 4, 500, 1500. How this kid is some great reseller. 
He's not a fucking great reseller. Inside information, he claims that he didn't have discount or coupon codes. It doesn't matter. The young man had the game on lock, and that single mom out there in New York City can't get a pair of kicks for her kids because Nike and Ann Hebert push it all to their sites, push it all to their apps, where her son and his 10, 15 employees dominate the scenes with bots, buying it all up. And once again, something created that was made fun by people of color has been ruined, just like they said in the Matrix, by the virus that's known as the white devil. It's not right, it's not fair, and no one is going to do anything about it. You think Nike gives a fuck? They don't give a fuck. Of course there's no conflict of interest. Your son is doing us a favor by buying all of our shit, hoarding it, and pushing it out there onto the various platforms like StockX for people to snatch up at double, triple, quadruple the price. Whatever the market may bear, mind you. I would like to end this video by saying there's got to be a better way. But unfortunately, in this day and age, there is no better way. And of course, people want to say that, oh, and her work has been undone by her cloud chasing son. No, and is undone by her hand in the schemes of her son. Truly white privilege at its finest. Until next time, sports fans nationwide, Lex Anderson signing out.